What's good? Before I get this video started, I want to give a big, big thanks to my homeboy, Bala La 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 La, for letting me use his backpack. Thank you. What's good, Stu Nation? Your boy back with another vlog, and uh, this time we on a Stuzuki. Stuzuki. I'm gonna take you guys to work with me. Of course, you guys are not gonna be able to be there with me the whole day, but we're gonna go do a little bit of work and then go for a ride today. All right, so I just finished a hard day's work. Now it's time to head home. But before that, I'm gonna take you guys to a spot that I usually go to chill out and relax. It may be kind of packed. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. Woo, he got this Suzuki. All right. We'll let it get warmed up for a little bit. I'm actually taking my bike over here in the shade because it is hot outside and we're off. It's a nice day out too bad it's supposed to rain tomorrow that's the only thing i can say about the east coast that i need to get away from is all this rain it rains entirely too much for me i've been on the, the east coast for the past i don't know how many years and this rain is is killer like it could kill your whole vibe one day it can look just like this and then literally hours if not minutes later it could be pouring down rain in and then go back to being just like this and then go to popo this rain stuff is unpredictable and you you gotta really watch the weather uh, on the west coast you know what it's gonna be you know it's gonna be sunny if not maybe a little bit of overcast every day here on the east coast you can you're guaranteed two things during the summer that is going to be humid and it's going to possibly rain guaranteed so with that being said i'm ready for some change i'm ready to move on the west coast and i'm hoping and praying that my next duty station i get somewhere on the west coast if not g give me give me texas i'm fine with texas like i'm, I'm fine with nevada i'm fine with colorado well, colorado got a lot of snow uh i don't know about that but I just, I just, I'm ready to switch it up. I love the East Coast with all my heart. Ajo is a very, very special place in my heart, but I'm ready to switch it up a little bit. It is time to take the Stu Nation on the West Coast. What the hell is that? Raccoon? What was that? A little raccoon just came by. You almost end up being roadkill, blood buddy. Oh, here come my riding buddy. Hi! That was a little bit of sus. I'm not gonna lie. I would like to give a little shout out to the Stu Nation for being the biggest supporters. You guys are running strong. Thank you. Also to the new members to the Stu Nation. Thank you. However you heard about me, you guys are running strong. Woo! I'm going to give one hell of a rev for the Stu Nation. Oh yeah. So just a little fun fact. Every time I get on this thing, I always say a little prayer for uh, my guardian angel to look over me and make sure I have a safe ride every time it never fails. You know how dangerous these things are. Unfortunately, I, I actually lost uh, a good friend of mine to uh, a bike accident. Um, this happened back in 2016. Some of you may remember it. I did a video on it. Yeah, I consider him as my, my guardian angel. <laughs> He, he always looked out for me when he was here and i know he's looking out for me now especially on this thing 
he's always preached to me to never act a fool on a bike respect the bike so I, I try to treat these things with care and, and respect them as much as possible if it's a Harley if it's a sport bike if it's whatever a moped be careful don't be out here acting a fool if you've been riding from a year to 20 years whatever it is always use precaution ride like everybody's out to get you Woo! it is hot out here today it is so hot that's another thing about Virginia that is guaranteed traffic no matter what it's always going to be traffic if you're a 95 guarantee you there's going to be traffic and there's going to be traffic for the stupidest reasons not even because uh, it's a legit accident it's usually because somebody's pulled over on the far right hand of the road or left side of the road and they're just driving by slow just to be nosy 85 percent of the time it's somebody being pulled over or a fender bender and everybody's being nosy this is nice scene i love this i love this area like i i don't even know how honestly i found this spot i think just one day i started driving around in my car and i just kept making a bunch of turns and i stumbled upon this place and ever since then i always came up here during the summer or during the winter and just hung out so this is why i love this spot and i think it's mainly because the old brick road kind of to it it feels like old school and kind of like uh original nice apartments or i don't know if those are homes or apartments but they're super nice it gives me time to sit back and just think and relax it's not really secret at all i like to call it secret but it's not Ah, oh, so you get like a nice little view usually this place is kind of packed but um not today i just want to take a moment of my time and dedicate a video to the stew nation i know i said this on my way to this spot but i want to give you guys a big big thank you for all the support that you guys give me the likes the comments the shares when you guys see me in person and tell me how great i'm doing on the videos or how crappy i'm doing on the videos you guys let me know and i want you guys to know that that stuff doesn't go unnoticed every time i edit a video or come up with an idea for a video i take you guys opinion and comments into consideration um sometimes i post stuff that is just not that interesting but i do get views off that and i appreciate that like the mother's day vlog i didn't really expect a lot of people to to like that vlog just for the simple fact that is just, it's an everyday video and it's nothing really to it just seeing how me and my family interact but I, I i appreciate that that little support i do get from you guys i can't admit it gets hard at times coming up with new content being that the marine corps is 95 percent of my life or 90 percent of my life and i have to focus on that mainly and it's been plenty of nights i've stayed up to three o'clock four o'clock in the morning knowing that i have to be up and at work at 07 or at 06 you guys make it all worthwhile when you guys give me comments and a really big stew when you guys see me that is like the best feeling ever and i think it's so funny when i'm walking down the street or i'm at work and i hear a random stew or a faint stew in the background that is that that tickles me every time on the other hand i do get those people who dislike me and that's okay i'm not expecting everybody to like my channel and to understand my channel it is perfectly fine they say the people who really watch your videos or who really listen to your stuff is the people who don't like you because they're going to talk about you and whatever but i'm about to head home i got a sweater on jeans and these hot boots and this leather vest on my back is on fire right now one thing i love about this bike it's not like any other jigsaw and most people are just like what do you mean all 600s are the same no this is a stuzuki this is not a suzuki this is a stuzuki so when i rev my bike it doesn't go Mah! it goes stew stew you know what i mean this is not a regular bike this is what i love about this bike man they don't make bikes like this they only this is a custom made bike when i went to the dealership and asked for this bike i said mike he said yes i said give me a suzuki he said oh you want a suzuki i said no 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 not a suzuki uh stuzuki 
<laughs> okay, enough of that. Uh, share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification button. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Uh, and that, that will set you up to get all the uh, videos that I post. And keep you in tune with the Stu Nation. Like always, your boy Stu, out.